I got a text! I got a text! Ah! <sighs> Can we talk about, first and foremost, before we even do the intro, the fact that we've gone two episodes and they have only said, I got a text! One time. One, One time. One. One time. Okay. One. Whatever. Sure. Yeah. Sure. But, uh, what's up, Islanders? Welcome to The Cup TV, part of the Currently Unnamed Podcast Network, where we put the real in the tea in reality, and you can always come to us first to quench your thirst. I'm Logan Murphy, say something gay. Gay, um, I am on a big coffee kick again recently, um, and specifically, I've got my uh, dirty chai going on today, as I have for a little bit, but... My ring light is not going to help me, but I've got this beautiful purple uh, holographic mug. Um, it's very pretty. It's a lot more pretty in person because you can't really see the holographic, but it's very yeah. lovely and it's I enjoy cute. it. It's cute. I mean, it's cute, but I mean, it's not as cute as our cup mug. <laughs> not that. <laughs> Don't judge me. I mean, as long as you're washing it, it's fine. I was. I so don't know it, where it is. Oh, well, it's fine. I guess I won't say panel full of cup mugs. Hold today. on. No, I found it. <laughs> We're good. We're good. He got a text. <laughs> I got a cup mug. <laughs> It's gonna be like this. It's gonna be like it's gonna this. be like it's it's one of those days today, honestly, y'all. Uh, I did have it to go in for uh wash later today, so absolutely. I mean, as long as you didn't wash, oh, and yeah, panel full of cut marks, yeah, but yeah, that's cute. I'm glad you have your cute cup, but you can get Thank your you. cut marks at lana.com. The link will be in the description below. Um, and we do ship domestically here in the United States and Mexico and Canada. And we do ship internationally, so there are no excuses. BG, we ship to you. <laughs> Just saying. Um, yeah, so get your cup mugs and your cup merch. And by the way, I am Lana, your resident evil diva, and I'm here to give the tea, spill the tea, and drink the tea because you know I love me some tea per. And if you have some tea, you know what to do. Hit me up. I'm just drinking water, folks, because it's hot in Fiji. It's hot here, so I'm gonna do it. So, and I'm, you know, I'm not really trying to do anything extra because I'm here looking for love. I am genuinely looking for love and someone who I could settle down. Where's my husband? Where's my husband? Gary so, Hamlin. If you get that yeah. reference, go subscribe to our main channel for <laughs> almost all things drag. Period. But. Lana, we are back talking about Love Island, I USA. You we got to specify because you both of start. them are happening right now. Yes. We do not have the capacity, nor the VPN, let's just be honest. Or, um, the I actually, or the time. Time, energy, or the VPN to currently discuss uh Okay. Love Island UK. I yeah, because I don't think they're dropping it in the US yet. Not yet. I've seen clips. Yes. That season looks spicy, and there is potential, maybe mostly on my end, and hypothetically Lana's, to do a rewatch of this current UK season because there's love triangles everywhere. There's drama. Like it feels very dramatic, and I'm here for it. Mm -hmm. Um, but we are talking about Love Island USA because that's what we currently have access to. Mm -hmm. um, we've got two episodes already down, and the first dumping on the horizon, we'll talk about it. Yes. Um, but I'm excited to be back talking about straight people attempting to find love and then mostly failing. I... It brings me joy. I'm not going to lie to you. It brings me joy. <laughs> I'm here so much for the spirals the tears the yes. the losing our minds the i can't believe he did this to me i can't believe and we did. 
thing. And we and we only, already have we have it. that. And we only just begun. Like literally by the end of episode two, we're only in night three. Three. And we've had crying and spiraling and I don't know what I'm going to do. Yeah. Uh, we were, Lana and I were talking about this before we started. We were like, this feels like we're already two weeks in. You would think the way these emotions run so deep already with some of these people that they have been together for weeks and we are at the end of the show and some bombshell and came in and turned right. them on it. You would think we were at the end and they were like, no, my God. Like we got, we got crying girls, we got mean mugging men, like they just mad. Oh it's my god. So I wild. I can't wait. I can't wait to talk about it. But before we do, make sure to subscribe if you've not already, because we are here almost all the time giving you almost all things TV. And we're gonna be here a lot giving you almost all things Love Island. We are gonna we're gonna do our best. Yes, we're going to, to be here. We're going to attempt to be here talking about every single episode individually. Yes. We're not doing that with the first two because our filming schedule yesterday was wild. But um, we're going to try to do every day that there's an episode. We're going to try to be here to talk about it the next day. Yes, that is that is the goal. Yep. That is the attempt. Somebody's going to be here at some capacity to talk about the episode. If it's Most me and Logan together, <laughs> yeah. we'll do that. If it's just me, it will, we'll make it happen. If it's just Logan, we'll make it happen. But in some yeah. capacity, we're going to be here every single day an episode drops. We'll be here the next day to talk about it. Yeah. We're going we're so, gonna to do our best to do whatever we can to cover this season because... I already feel like this season is going to be really good. Absolutely. So you know what you need to do so you don't miss any time we drop an episode? You need to hit the notification bell and subscribe so you can be in the know every time we okay. drop a I'm video. Like, I've got the bell now in my name. It's, right. it's a double meaning. Absolutely. So hit that notification bell and subscribe to the channel so you can be all caught up on Love Island right along with us. We're going to give you all the information that we, from our point of view, of course. So, yes. from our perspective, absolutely. So, check yes. that out. Go do the same to all of our other channels. All those but all those will be in the link tree in the description below. Click on all of that. Click on that. Uh, you can follow all of our audio podcasts. And you can join our membership channel for early access and exclusive content across all four of our amazing channels. So, do all the buttons, Her. do all the things. Her. Now let's get into this Love Island for the baby. <laughs> I want to start right at the top. Our intro sequence, it was adorable. It was lovely. It, it was, was wonderful. Adorable. And we have Ariana Maddox hosting. I'm so happy about it. I'm happy about it. I'm happy for her. She just fresh off of Dancing with the Stars. And so we got fresh a very... off of Fresh off of Vanderpump, too where all of that and, universe is happening. Right. And so we get a very Dancing with the Stars opening for this one, which I was like, oh, okay. I was you. like, they are making these straight people lip sync. And fun. they did fine. <laughs> lip, syncing is not for, lip syncing is not only for queer people, I'm sorry. And drag Oh, I know. Stuff. I'm just saying a lot of them, some of them are good. Some of them are good. But... We're, but they were doing that thing, and we had some dancers, and Ariana was at the dancing, and I was like, look at you go, girl! Like, I love that song, by the way. Love it. Love it. They had a good it's a song I knew, and I was like, "There." okay, can we also, at the top, talk about the music selections that we've gotten mm -hmm. so far this mm -hmm. season? Because they said, they said, Rhythm of the Night. Mm -hmm. Rhythm of the Night. I don't have to worry about copyright on this channel. Oh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> I was like, yes! Oh my god, I love like uh, I, I think they just was like, we go grab some new stuff, some old stuff, and we go throw it all in the budget and we go grab it. And they did. Yeah. I love the mix. I love yeah. the mix. But see, that's one thing about Love Island I've always liked. They always pick mm -hmm. good music yes. to go with what's going on at the moment in time. And that was fun. It's been fun. 
Yeah. So we start, we've got our five ladies, our five men. And I think that's where we're going to start, Lana, is talking about our, our OGs. Yeah, our five women. I, I switched it up a little bit because I changed it. So it goes with the show. So we go introduce our ladies first in the order that they appeared on your TV screen. Her. Her. Oh, how fun and lovely and gorgeous, Lana. Great Thank job. Thank you. Wonderful. Thought Wonderful. that was so Wonderful. cute. Wonderful. That was one of my favorite ones. So, like, yes. The girls! Yeah. The girls. First up, right out the gate, Serena. Loving Serena. Love her. I love Loving her. Loving Serena. I love her. I like her. I'm confused by her all at the same time. We'll talk about so, it. So uh, the the ladies immediately were like, oh my God, what is your sign? What is your sign? And I definitely yes. made sure to write down as many of them as I could. <laughs> um, so Serena is a Virgo sun with a Capricorn moon and Scorpio rising. This girl, if she gets double crossed in this villa, you don't want not her. a single person will come out unscathed. <laughs> like she's going to go that. after every single islander even the ones that are not involved in the drama she's gonna go after ariana the production ian sterling uh the, catering, the fish in the ocean off the dock the catering town, the people in Fiji, the, just the locals just everybody everybody everybody's she, <laughs> i really like also i love that the song that they gave her was hot to go by chapel mm-hmm. Ron. i was like yes Thank you. Um, but she, the the one thing I wrote down for Serena is that she likes a man that's tatted like a Chipotle bag. <laughs> Some of these comments that these people are making are so out of pocket. And that's kind of been my favorite part of these two episodes. Because oh, we'll talk about my favorite comment from the first two episodes later. Okay. Um, but yeah, I really like Serena. I like where she's at currently. We'll talk mm-hmm. about her couple in a little bit, but I, I like where she's at right now. Yeah, I, I think Serena, like I said, I like her. I really enjoy her, 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 her attitude, her spirit, her, her, yeah. her, just her presence is lovely. Um, she's confusing me. Mm-hmm. She's confusing me a little bit, but I get it, and I, 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 I I'm waiting to see what else yeah. she is going to do, but. I can't wait to, um, I, I, I'm really enjoying her. I'm really enjoying her a lot. Definitely. And she comes in with Miss Kaler. Um, she works with special needs kids. She has a Pittsburgh ease accent from what she said. What she said. Uh, mm-hmm. she, she wants to find a man that she can get matching PJs with from Target. Mm-hmm. I like Kaler. I do I like do Kaylor, but I am yeah. concerned about Kaylor. I feel like Kaylor is very, she's very naive and young and like yeah. young minded. Like she yes. doesn't, I don't think she actually knows what she wants. I think she just wants to have a good time. She wants to be there. Um, uh-huh. She wants to you know, flirt and kiss and, you know, you know, canoodle with somebody. But I don't yeah. think she knows exactly what she wants in in a, in a person. And it'll be more present in when we talk about the next episode, why I say yeah. what I say. But I think she's a sweet girl. I think she's so mm-hmm. sweet. And I think she wants to be ready for a, a strong, long-term relationship but I don't think she has the mindset for it yet. I don't think she's actually ready. I think no. she's a beautiful girl and she's yes. that all American blue eyed blonde hair. Small town girl. Small like. town girl that you, we, we know everywhere. And, and it's going to be a lot of guys that's going to come into this villa and find her attractive and going to want to talk to her. And uh-huh. she is going to lose her mind. I don't think she's ever yeah. had this, that this I don't think she's ever had the attention that she's going to have in this villa at that, one time. 
that was going to be my exact point. Lana is, I, I like Kaylor a lot. I think she's, mm-hmm. I think she's a very fun girl. A lot of her commentary has been very fun. Mm-hmm. She already gives me the girl whose head is going to be turned every single time a bombshell yep. walks into the villain. Mm-hmm. Like that's where, like, she might stick with Aaron. Uh, the really. person. Um, yeah. she, she might stick with, um, with her original couple for a long time. But I feel like every time they bring someone in, to your point exactly, I feel like a lot of the the bombshell guys are going to be attracted to her. Mm-hmm. And I feel like it's we're going to end up with a scenario where um, every time someone comes in, Kaylor's head is going to get turned and it's going to be... We'll see how that will go with the person she couples up with. Right. But I feel like the same with him. But I feel like a I, we'll talk about we'll, we'll talk, talk about, about Aaron. Aaron we'll yeah. talk about Aaron, but let's talk about Hannah because I honestly I really like Hannah so far. Um, she was born with hyperhidrosis. She talks to herself a lot. She is not going to. She's going to say exactly what's on her mind. Um, she's talked about having a lot of failed situationships. I, spoiler, she is in my current favorite couple. Not mine. I understand. (laughs) Only because I don't, I felt bad for her, honestly. I felt bad for her early on, but I feel like she has gotten into a better spot. But, yes, I don't think that couple is going to last. Because I think... I don't either, but I I really like both of them. I think his head is going to turn so much quicker than her head is going to turn, which is going to hurt her, which I hate that for her. Because even when somebody was interested in her and she's almost kind of interested in them, she was very much like, but I'm still with. He was not doing the same. He was very much interested and was like, oh, I'm interested and I'm interested and I'm interested. And so I just, I feel like another blonde, blue eyed girl is going to walk into that villa and he is going to be like, oh my God. Oh my God. I think more guys, more women are going to come in and be attracted to him and he's going to lose it. I don't, and I think she's going to be very much like, loyal because he's going to continue to give her the yeah the reassurance that she's fine when he's not going to be that but we'll talk about him later i like her yeah i want it's parts of her that i'm like "Mm, i don't know yet i'm still filling her out i'm i'm still filling her out a little bit i think she's i feel like she tries too hard sometimes Mm. to be to be up front and like, I'm going to be that abrasive, loud, yeah. bold one. That's my title. That's my okay. role that I'm going to play. And I feel like she's trying too hard to play the role that is not coming off believable. So That's- I don't particularly believe her as the character that she is on the show. And I would rather get to know who she is because it's been moments in the show when she's like talking to Leah and when she's talking to other people, well, I feel like she's very much more herself. Yeah. But then when she gets around the guys, she's like, "Ah." and it's like, you don't have to do that. I I, love when your mic peaks like that. (laughs) I I just don't, I don't like it when she has to. No, but I, I get that. that. I don't think she has to be so, I got to be, I got to and uh-uh, I'm going to be, uh-uh, da, 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 da. I don't think that's her. And I feel like it's some aspects of her, but I don't feel that her. So right now, I'm waiting to feel her. I, I like her. I don't, I'm not counting her out or anything. I just want to fully yeah. believe her, and I don't fully believe her yet. She's a beautiful girl, though. Beautiful. Very. Beautiful Very. girl. Another beautiful girl. <laughs> Another beautiful girl. I love. Janae. I love Janae. I oh, I love Janae. Um, she works in the trade market. She was a military brat. Uh, she wants FaceTime to guy for eight and a half days and her phone overheated. 
uh, she openly was like, yeah, I have an 807 credit score. And I was like, all right, sister, go for it. Um, she wants a man who's introverted and obedient, which is interesting given who she ends up uh, coupling up with. Um, and she's a Sagittarius. And I think that's going to give... I And we, we are already kind of seeing this with Janae. Um, she, for me, is giving the, like... She is going to be the rock of the ladies throughout mm -hmm. the entire season. Mm -hmm. I honestly see a I the of the OGs, the only girl I see right now, one hundred percent making it to the final, in my opinion, right now is Jay. Mm -hmm. Whether it's with who she is currently coupled up with or not. Mm -hmm. I see Janae at the end because I feel in a scenario where like, in a future scenario down the line where like the guys have to eliminate a girl or like some scenario like that. I don't think any of them are ever going to look at Janae because Janae is being that rock for so many of the girls right now. Mm -hmm. I just, there's an energy about Janae that I really, really enjoy. Um, and I, I honest to God could see the couple that she's in right now, making it to the end. I can see that. I feel that I, 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 I like Janae. I really do. It and everything you said, I agree with everything. Yeah. It's the other part of Janae that I'm like, mm, I don't know, because here's yeah. my when she was like, and I, I, I'm sure I don't know if she was saying it in a joking way or she was like, I don't know why I'm single because I'm close to perfect. I'm not perfect, but I'm as close to perfect as you can get. Da da da. Yeah. And she was just like. It's never me. It's always them. And I yeah. feel like that's a red flag for me. If somebody can okay. never admit to that the reason relationships don't work out is you or both parties involved in a relationship. Now, I can see if the relationship just didn't work out because he did something. He cheated. And you left. Period. He yeah. was abusive. You left. Period. That's not you. That's yeah. on him. But if it was no cheating, no abuse, y'all just fell out of like or love with each other it gotta be something for on both ends nobody just falls out of love without it being a reason on both ends and so i feel like if she can't even admit to that that's a red flag for me personally i if a guy told me i don't know why they broke up with me i'm there i don't do anything wrong i'm like <laughs> right so and, and then like she even doubled down on it when she was talking to the person who she got coupled with and was like because he was like why are you single she was like i really don't know i don't i don't know i feel like i'm a great catch i'm like i'm sure you can feel like a great catch but it, you got to know we we got to know why we sing we we live with ourselves long enough to know why we single and you know and it, i i do think but i do agree with you i do think she's the rock and i think it's going to show in the episodes and i don't think people are going to look at her unless she does something so bad to the person she's in the couple with that he yeah. taints the, the men and when it comes down to the men voting out a woman which is going to happen if eventually like love island does yeah. she can get going that way but it really yeah. will have to be she tainted the guy so bad they don't want her around anymore for that yeah. to happen. For sure. And last up, the girl that we're kind of seeing the most right now going on in this situation, that is Leah. <sighs> She's a triple Leah when I said, oh, dear Lord Jesus. Baby, no. The only thing I wrote down from her intro package is if your man doesn't, like an doesn't love animals, then get rid of him. I was like... Oh, I'm the complete opposite. If a man doesn't like animals, we're a perfect match because neither do I. Fair. <laughs> Fair. I don't know. I, I have a lot more to say about Leah later. Mm -hmm. But I do like Leah. It is clear that she is here for the right reasons. Mm -hmm. To the point where she is already diving very, very strongly into uh, her emotions three days in. She is someone else for me who tries too hard. I okay. don't fully believe her. 
I don't fully believe. I believe that she is very much emotionally and wanting. I do. I do think she's here for the right reason. I do think she wants to find love. I think she desperately wants to find love, and she so desperately wants to find love that she's so willing to give her heart right away. Yeah. To the first person that says they want her, she's willing to say yes. I want you to, and we're gonna be together forever. And and I'm like, girl, it's day one. It's day two. Like you can't be doing it. Um. And I'm like, do we not know what show we're on right now? Do have y'all never seen Love? This is season six of Love Island. Y'all never seen Love Island. You don't think there's gonna be other people coming in? on a regular basis to try to tempt you and talk to you and talk to your partner and talk to the person you're right. with at this point. Like how right. are you acting like this right now? And she is one of these people who I was like, girl, have you not seen the show? Because she acts like she acted like everything was going to be Gucci. This was going to be the person she's going to be matched up with and they will go be together forever. And nobody was going to try to take it. like nothing ever. And I'm just like, but I also feel like she's trying too hard. Like everything was like, <laughs> oh my god, oh my god, oh my. It's like, oh. ooh. It gave me an energy that I don't like on most girls. But uh, I don't know. I don't know. I think I love. I love how pessimistic your view of Leah is, or of, of the of the of the show. I would say honestly, in general, I'm. I, I like to keep it real because it's like, well, for me, it's real for me. I don't know if you might not agree with it. If you, it and if you don't, fine, leave comments below and, and tell me you don't. I agree. I, I, I can take it. I just feel like when you're going on a show like Love Island, you have to be prepared. You First of all, you got to get thick skin because, number one, your person that you might like might not like you. Uh, number two, the person who you do end up with might like you, but somebody else might come in that they like better. Somebody might come in that you like better. You can't go in day one putting all of your eggs in one basket and thinking it's going to be the thing. And I felt like that's what a lot of these girls were doing. And a lot of these guys, I'm not just going to bring them on the girls because some of these guys were the same way. And I'm like, you have to know there's going to be bombshells coming in on a regular basis. Casa is going to happen where it's going to be like yeah. seven or eight more people coming in and they're all going to be coming to vibe for your attention and, and time and conversation. You have to just be open and willing to let it happen. And then when you do get to that point, we like, look, I know that I know this is the person for me. It might happen. It might happen. You might go through the whole experience and not connect with somebody on that level where you feel like I want to walk out of this villa with this person and start a relationship with this person. It might not happen. You just have to have an open mind on the real reality of Love Island. I'm going to come in here. I'm going to talk to everybody. I'm going to have conversations with everybody. See who I connect with the most. We go match up and couple up day one because that's just what the show does. But just because I couple with you don't mean I can't talk to everybody. Right. And it's you have to be open and you can't be sitting there me mugging people when somebody else is talking to the person you couple with. Aaron, Leah, <laughs> Rob, <laughs> like, come on. <sighs> Taylor, <laughs> like, come on, y'all. So it, it was so fun when we get to episode two. Oh my god, it's going to go down because then let's crazy. speed through these, uh, these boy, boy reactions. Because, <laughs> oh my, we're 30 minutes in, Lana. We got a we got a lot to talk about today, absolutely. We got two episodes to talk about, Aaron, Aaron, our, 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 our from. The Trader UK, token, our token UK person that we have to have on every US show. I don't know. I well, guess so. I don't. But know. he's here. Aaron wants a green card. I'm just gonna say that Aaron wants a green card. Aaron wants to come to the US, and he's willing to get on Love Island US, get married, so he can get a green card. That's literally what I got from him in his intro. Yeah. <laughs> Same. <laughs> just go be real. You know, I don't think you're wrong. 
Aaron wants to be over here and he wants the green card. So he wants to get married and he wants to find a beautiful blonde, blue eyed girl to do it with. And maybe he was going to do it the best. Way. Is, is he being sincere? Probably. Is he being genuine? Probably. But baby, that's all he wanted was a green card. Yeah. And that's what he said. <laughs> that's what he said. He want to move to the U.S. And I, I get it. I don't, I mean, I don't, but I do. But okay. Sure. Come on over, Aaron. Get I do mom. like him, though. I, I do like him, I though. do like him. Me, too. Yeah. I do, too. He gave me... We'll talk about his comment later. He gave me my favorite comment of the episode, of, the, oh, of these two oh, episodes. Oh, 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 I can't wait to hear what I gotta wait for episode two for that. Oh, okay. <laughs> mm -hmm. But I do like him. <gasps> Koi! Oh my Ooh. god. This six eight dark chocolate, beautiful, beautiful man. When this man said big feet, big meat, big meat. I, said, I was like, Ooh. it's over. <laughs> and then he doubled down and said, and it's true. I was like, Ooh. Oh, I get it. Ladies, I get it. Girls, I'm it. I get it. <laughs> I'm just saying I get it because whew, that is a lot of beautiful man right there. Uh, that is a lot of beautiful, muscly, oh. beautiful smile, beautiful eyes, beautiful body man. And I get it. But whoo. We, when he came out on the thing, when they showed him in the intro, I was like, "Oh, uh huh." Oh, the way crazy. that all of the men are tall for the most part, and he's still towering over most of them, I was just like, "Well, oh. shit, all right." I is. They did it when they did this one because you were wondering, like, "Ooh, how y'all go top a cinco?" Because cinco was the ooh, cinco was the cinco. How you go top a cinco? You give us a koi. And it's like, ooh. Yeah. And koi is like, I'm a big man, but I'm a teddy bear at heart. He's ooh. got a chihuahua. He got a chihuahua. He's got a chihuahua. He's a little. Oh. Uh, I, I, yeah, I get yeah. it. Yeah. We got to move know. on, unfortunately. I know. The mm. mm. Kendall, Kendall, who I, I, I think Kendall might be my favorite right now. I gotta be honest. I really, really, really like Kendall. I like Kendall, but I think Kendall got some F-boy tendencies. I hate to say it, but I think he's got some F-boy tendencies. I don't want to believe that, but I... <laughs> well, and the, the, reason I, the reason I may not necessarily 100% agree with you is only because... When we heard his intro package, he was talking about, like, how he is the child of now divorced parents who were together for 25 mm -hmm. years and, like, how it's kind of, it soured him for a little bit. Mm -hmm. So I don't, uh, I honestly think physically he gives F-boy vibes. I don't know that he, I he feels like he's here for the right reasons. And I want to, I want to believe that. I just don't know. I don't know about Kendall, but I really like him. I think he is here for the right reasons. And I do think his parents' divorce soured him on love a little bit, which is why I feel like he has some F-boy tendencies. Because when you've been mm. soured, you act out and you do things to rebel against anything love because you are soured yeah. on love. So I feel like he maybe had some tendencies. Maybe he's trying to change those tendencies, which I'm would be very happy for. Like, I think he was a, a, a lovely person. I think he's a lovely person. I enjoy him on the screen. I enjoy his energy. He's yeah. He has that very cute, nerdy side. Like I, I think, think he's the one of these, of, of honestly all the guys so far, I think he's the one that I would want to couple up with the most. Mm -hmm. Yeah. He's cute. He's good looking. He's nerdy. He's fun. He likes to laugh. And I feel like that's all good. But I just... Feel like maybe still a hint of F boy in him. It could change. It could change. Yeah. But I think he has a hint in it. But I, I'm not counting Kendall out. No. 
No. Next up, Cordell, who we really have not seen a whole lot of at all in these two episodes, but uh Cordell is the brother of Odell Beckham Jr., which I was like, oh. I know when he said when he said um, Cordell Beckham, I was like, like, like Odell Beckham? Odell yes, Beckham? yes, actually. Absolutely. And I was like, uh oh. Great. Which, which is great, but I was great. <laughs> That was killing me. I was like, are you and Odell not close? Because he was like, I work at an airline or the air, uh, airport, so air something. He's an aircraft fueler. An aircraft fueler. So I'm like, yeah. Not that you don't have to work because your brother is a football player, which is because that's not right. your money and that's not your place. That's his thing. That's your, You need to make your own. But I'm like, huh. Interesting. But what I can see, what I can see, Odell is helping him, but not giving him things like probably his clothes. Well, he's also like he has, he's a, he's also twenty one. He's twenty one. Like he, he's a baby. He's a baby. He said he's a. And we're seeing hunter, we're interestingly seeing a lot of maturity out of him yes. so far. I, really I didn't like know Odell. he was twenty one. I didn't realize he was twenty one. So he's dead, and I was like. Oh, you're so young. He did oh. not. He does not give me that vibe at all. No. I think. I honestly think of the guys, he might be the one to be like the rock on the guy side. Like I don't. I we haven't seen a whole lot of him, but what we have seen so far, I really, really enjoy. Me too. I I can't wait to see more. I have to see more to see yes. what tendencies because what we got in these first two episodes was he was very mature. He was very sweet. He was very mm -hmm. like smitten with the girl he ended up with yeah and very like i feel this vibe i kind of want to yeah. you know do this i just i don't know if it's gonna work but i just feel like he's on his end he was very happy uh-huh so definitely 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 and the last up of our OG guys from, I guess, Casa last well, season. I think it's off season. I'm, mm -hmm. I'm really happy in that case that they brought him on as an OG this season. I got to be honest. I think Rob is is a good guy. I like yes. him. I He's a snake wrangler. Mm -hmm. uh, drink every time he talks about... I, I wrote this down somewhere. Um, I was like, drink every time... He mentions being a snake wrangler, and one of the ladies is like, wait, really? Like, really? Like, that's like, what you really need? Yeah, he's got several snakes tattooed on his body. Like, <laughs> uh, yeah. Man, no, snakes. A, clearly, have you watched the show, Tamar? Like, did y'all not watch Casa last season? Like, Probably not. I mean, I love that they brought him back because apparently yeah. in Casa, he had this whole love triangle thing where he was interested yeah. in the girl and very interested but and she, she was gave already him nothing she gave him nothing and they were people like he was really giving and trying yeah and then you end up giving him nothing and still didn't get the man you wanted so yeah so i kinda... i hope that i hope that we get to see more of that throughout mm -hmm. love island because i feel like there's a lot of people that like just honestly don't get a good shot mm -hmm. because they're they're cost out of more people and yes. i i'm happy for him I, mm -hmm. I like him. He's in the middle of a lot of the stuff right now as well, and we'll talk about yes, that. We'll but, talk about it. And um, through no fault of his own, I think. No, through honest to God, no fault of his through own. Through no fault of his own. No. But I, I like Rob. I, I like Rob. Rob. Everybody's saying how sexy Rob is. I feel like Rob probably is sexier in person than the pictures uh -huh. because I'm like, even on TV when he's just chill, I'm like, oh, he's cute. But I'm not like, oh, yeah. <gasps> Like, but they seem to all think Rob is just Gina. Yeah. So you just have to be there. Um, I also love that when all the ladies were there, Ariana walks in and she's mm -hmm. like, I am here to support you. Yes. And I was like, period. Period. Now I haven't hey, watched, I will go ahead and say, I haven't watched any of the seasons that had Sarah Highland as a host. Mm -hmm. And I do like Sarah Highland. Mm -hmm. um, I've heard certain things about why she did not return this season. She wasn't really a girl's girl. Well, also, um, the guys, I guess last season, I think, really yeah. were kind of rude, rude to her. Very rude. So, like, I, I hope she is I hope she is well. I hope she is yeah. good. I hope she is lovely uh and doing great in her career. She, she'll be fine. But yes. I love 
I love Ariana being a Love Island super fan. Yes. Being on Love Island Games as a guest host and mm-hmm. then getting this gig, I really... Because we talked about it when we did Love Island Games. We were like, Ariana is such a good host. Yes. She's so messy. And we love it. <laughs> love it. Um, but we start with um, an actual icebreaker. Mm-hmm. Um, you kissing everybody. Everybody was going to Everybody's kissed. Made- I honestly think that's a pretty good way to start. Mama, like, I wasn't I just, mad at it. I feel like um, some of those questions were a little savage. Some of those questions were not right. But Rob, like- when Rob's question was, kiss the girl you think has the most red flag vibes. I was like, why would you do that? And then Kayla got fun. most fake. I was like, I, I was like, I would have the with, um, I think somebody did it. Oh, oh, it was a- Aaron. He was like the, the girl with the highest body count. And, yeah, yeah, he was like, I don't think she had the highest body count. I just want to kiss her. And so it took Love it, it away from that negative question to like, I just yeah. really want to kiss this person. Which was t- because that, that, I think those questions need to be later on in the season. That's too like this one right. should be very much all good questions. It should have been lighthearted all, stuff, like very nice. Like, who do you think has the prettiest feet, or who do you think has the best body? You know, something like, like best that. In the head. Like, right, like. It should have been nicer because this was the first night and everybody's going to kiss. Yeah. Why do I want to kiss somebody who think I got the highest body count or by my walking red flag? Right. That's, right. that's ridiculous. That's ridiculous. I do love that um, when Janae got up mm-hmm. and she gets the two Islanders with green flag vibes, she picks Rob and Koi. Mm-hmm. And then Serena, for hers, picks Koi. Uh-huh. And then, of course, when Koi gets up there, it's the two girls that caught his eye, and then he picks Janae and Serena. Where I was like, okay, cool. We know where this is going. Great, cool, love it. Um, and we go to the first coupling. Yeah, we're here. Um, the ladies are going to uh, stand by the guy that they want to couple up with first. Oh, before we and, get to that, real quick, uh-huh. we got to go back to the game because. Everybody okay. was picking everybody around. Hannah was not getting picked for anything. Get picked at all. Like Only time she kissed somebody is when she had to do the picking. And I was yeah. like, oh no. And then she, like, she who, picks- we didn't even see one of them. I don't know. Who who did we not see? Oh, we didn't even see Leah's. No, because Leah got picked by Rob. Leah got picked by Rob, but that was it. That was it. But yeah. Hannah didn't get picked by anybody. And then she picked Koi. And I was like, okay, she picked Koi. They kiss. Koi looked like he ate a powdered donut because Leah's makeup is all Hannah's. over his Hannah's makeup is all over his face. I was like, girl, have you not heard of setting powder and finishings? Like I was gonna say, are these girls not using setting like are they not powdering? Are they not using setting spray? Like what is happening here? I was like, you have to put that in and then set that. Stuff and so it's not on everybody on on everything and like she I I was hoping she learned her lesson after she had Koi looking like he ate powdered donuts right before but no she didn't do that because the person she ended up coupling with when they was kissing had the same problem I was like girl mm-hmm. somebody buy her some setting spray so this makeup ain't she can right. kiss people without having them to have to go wash their whole face afterwards. right like right okay. uh, that was right. that was me that was <laughs> <laughs> like somebody go to Sephora and get us some set and spray right. or Walmart or something. <laughs> like <laughs> somebody ain't got no set spray on there. Nobody in there be like, "Hey, girl, set it." And well, they gonna have to ship that stuff in, probably. They ain't bring them. Like you ain't put that in your own cosmetic bag. I'm going on a TV show where I am supposed to look beautiful all the time. And I have to put on makeup. Like, we have whole sessions of me putting on makeup. That, that's literally part of the show. I have to put on my makeup. Girl, learn how to put your makeup on. <laughs> and then it, it got to be. Like, I, I just believe sitting spray keeps that from happening, right? 
I might, I'm not the real expert on makeup, but right? Tell me if I'm wrong in the comments. Setting spray does keep it on your face. It don't come off until you're ready to wipe it off. Right? Okay, anyway. Anyway. But yeah, so the coupling happens and the girls have to walk over to the man of their choice to decide who they want to be a couple with. Now, some of these, I was like, these are easy. I know where they're going. I know exactly where these girls are going. Easy peasy. I saw it from the get-go. And then three of these girls, three, three of them, Koi. three of them went to Koi. I was like, I really was not surprised. I really was not surprised at all. I would have walked over to Koi, saw three people and stepped over. Like, no, absolutely not. I'm not getting rejected by this man. <laughs> right. I'm like, because we see Janae, Serena and Hannah. All I don't even know why Koi. Hannah even walked over there. Because, girl, he never picked you. He picked no. them to Now, I can see why Serena and Janae walked over there. Because he Absolutely. picked them. He picked Absolutely. them both as the most beautiful. And he picked them. And so it's like she was trying to decide 50-50. Hannah, I don't even know why you even walked over there. Your old butt should have picked anybody else. Yeah. Anybody else. I don't even know why you walked over there. But she did. And... He said no. He picked Janae. Wow. Yeah. That was first. Let's That's talk first. about our couples, Janae and Coy. I I really was not surprised I wasn't by surprised this either. choice. Um, They're good looking. Couples. I can kind of tell that he was a little bit more into Janae immediately than uh, he was with Serena. I am worried about a future scenario, hypothetically, where Koi ends up in a love triangle with both Janae and Serena. I don't want that to happen because I really like Janae and Serena. I... And I don't need I don't need another redo of um Cache and Trina. Cache. Like I really don't need another redo of Cache and Trina. Like I, I, I don't just hate it because I feel like they're going to try to put these two beautiful queens together. A hundred. And I or they're gonna bring in another gorgeous black woman. Another gorgeous and black that's woman. Gonna be, that's gonna yep. be what it is. Yeah. It's well, it's it's like because we only gonna have two black men who's gonna actually like black women and so we're yeah. only going to put two together and then we're gonna put in two of these men yeah and and on all three of these women and they all go fight over these men and it's like yeah. why why are we doing that why are we even doing <sighs> that oh, oh. Yeah. so I don't know I'm just confused I hope not I hope not we then <laughs> because um because Serena does not get picked by uh, by Koi, Cordell ends up picking Serena, which I think is kind of the right. They were they their outfits were coordinating. Cordell Cordell is almost everything. Serena said she wanted. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't know if this couple is going to last, but I do like this couple. I do like this couple, and I I don't know if it's going to last. I feel like it might not, but. I feel like he was very much more smitten in and into her. Yeah. And the more the time that they talked, I feel like he's more like, yeah, I can well, see myself and walking with And her. after the coupling, they have they have one of the first conversations. They realize they're both from Houston and they're both recently had a five year relationship. So like I right. feel like there's a lot in common with them. Yes. Um so, I, think I, don't can, I, I don't know. I don't know. I would, would like love to for see them. It. Me too. I would love for them to 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 be great and make it. If not, I can I can definitely see them being really good friends. Definitely. We have the immediate uh, coupling of Aaron and Kayla. This did not come as a surprise to anybody. No. Because she no. really enjoyed Aaron. Aaron was just like, that. he was set on her from the get-go. Yep. He was just like, damn, that's who I want. She was yep. going back and forth between Aaron and Rob. She ended up being yep. able to kiss both Aaron and Rob during the game. And she was like, Aaron just kisses way better. Okay. So... That's what I'm going with. And I was like, okay, yeah. girl, word. Great. This is the couple Default of couple. convenience, <laughs> I guess. Default. Uh, Hannah and Kendall end up together by default. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But I actually don't think this is a bad couple because mm -hmm. after we after the coupling, they end up heading it off really mm -hmm. immediately. And I think a lot of their 
uh, their communication has been pretty good. Like, I have a slight concern. I think they're good couples. My my own concern is I think he's doing it for game because he wants to stay there longer and he knows he needs Mm -hmm. to be in a couple to do that. And I think he's going to continue to string her along with him until he finds somebody who is definitely going to pick him in the coupling or he can pick somebody else in the coupling. Yeah, I'm a little I'm a little concerned about that, but that's my only concern. But I think they're a good couple if they just actually try to make it work for real. And then the last couple was an immediate pairing, Rob and Leah. That, you know, made sense. Surprise, surprise no one. I love how much they just they just share one brain cell. <laughs> Their whole like, I'm gonna pass the brain cell to you. Yeah, no, that was <laughs> that was everything to me. Um I yeah, so those are our couples. Um I had a couple of like they're all they're all getting to know each other, blah 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 mm-hmm. blah. blah. I had a couple things that stood out to me, Lana. Okay. Um, apparently, Aaron doesn't know what Chipotle is. No. Which uh, he's like, vegan. It's overrated or which, yeah, you can make it better at home. Um, and I do. Mm-hmm. Um, I think he would. He would. He wouldn't mind Chipotle though because he's vegan. They do have a lot of vegan options. I will say that. Mm-hmm. Their uh, their vegan meat alternative is actually really really good. Um, that's usually what I get if I go. But um. And he said that he thinks his family would immediately think he would pick Kaylor as well, which I think reassured Kaylor a lot um, immediately, to which later in the night, Kaylor, and I quote, says, I don't wear any underwear to bed. Is that weird? And I said, no. No. That's not weird at all. <laughs> not at all, girl. I support you in that. Um, My mom used to always say, let it breathe at night. Period. Yeah. Period. Um, I also, so we go to the next morning and we're, we're exploring the villa more. I'm like, what is this hot tub couch situation at Soul Ties? Right. Like, it's really, this, this sunk into the ground couch bed that looks like it could That's be easily tub. filled with water at any given time. Absolutely. Like, if that whole middle, like, cushion situation comes out and it becomes a hot tub, it would not surprise me. I wouldn't be surprised either. I thought it was a hot tub. I was like, what is this? They just put a hot I like, tub there. I like the soul ties this season, though. I like where it's at. The redesign of this house, of this villa, I actually really enjoy. Yeah, new house. They said it's a new villa. So I was like, oh, yeah. good work. I was like, um, I like where soul ties is. I like that they have the little dock going yes. out instead of, like, going onto the beach. I think oh, that's really cute. Yeah. I, I um, enjoy that. I like how the setup is, and they have a lot of different more, more different places for them to go and sit and talk yeah. and all that stuff. So I kind of like it. I kind of like it. And then amongst other conversations, like Hannah is feeling a little bit more secure with Kendall. They need to talk more. They're not moving super fast. He didn't touch um, me. Oh my god. Yeah. Um, Kaylor already feels like she can be herself around Aaron, which I really like. Mm-hmm. And then we get this Serena and Cordell conversation where, and I quote, Serena goes, so what are your long-term goals? To which it's Cordell, fun. your goals, long-term. Um, like, I want to be an actor. And... I think Cordell is lovely and fine and wonderful. Serena, get out of there. Serena, get out of there. I'm sorry. Serena, get out of there. Serena. 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 I don't think she she was feeling him anyway. I I don't think she was feeling him anyway. I feel like... we. I don't think we've seen enough of them, these two episodes, because obviously... Now, obviously, everything is dominated by all three of the bombshells, as well as... This whole like Robin Leah situation, Rob Leah, we'll, we'll get there shortly. But um, yeah, I it was, just, it was. I mean, I really feel like they just need to have a better conversation. I don't think this was the best conversation to start it off no. with, and I'm I'm not quick to say run Serena run, but I just want Cordell to open up more, and that's the problem. Yeah. He is 21. That's the problem yeah. with young men in general. They don't know how to have a full-blown conversation where it's 
conducive to to nurture the relationship. Mm -hmm. And I, I would I would love to say it's just young age, but it's a lot of older men who don't know how to express and have conversation where you like, so tell me your long term term goals. They don't think about it. He's 21 years old. His brother plays in the NFL. He probably never had to think about long-term goals after a while. Like yep. Odell's been in the league for a while. So his, he probably takes care of his family and, and he, his mom is probably well taken care of so that he's taken care of. He's just pretty much out of high school, college, maybe still in college. Probably, yeah. And well, he might not even go to college, but yeah. he, um, he's literally just figuring who he is at 21 years old. He doesn't know what he is like. I get it. Like, I just, he's going to need somebody who's going to be patient with him and like be willing to, and as much as I hate it, I hate to say this word, mold him into becoming the man you would like him to be. And yeah. it sounds a lot like grooming, but not really because if it's a consensual relationship, he's 21 years old. You can't groom a 21 year old. I don't, I don't feel like that's. I know. I know exactly where you're, where you're going right. with that. You know I what I mean? He, he needs to have the structure of, like, I don't know how many relationships he's been in prior, but, like, I I, I could not go on something like this when I was 21. Because I no. really, genuinely, I'm only just now figuring out who the hell I am. Like, right. it, I, I feel like Cordell is going to struggle, and I don't like seeing that, because I do like him, and I think he's a good, I think he's a good guy. Yeah. I don't think he is the right pick for Serena. I honestly don't. No, I think he might need to wait and let a bombshell come in and actually somebody who is more on his level, more on his speed, yes. somebody that he can grow with instead of grow yeah. somebody showing him how to grow. Um, and I feel like his ego was a little bruised when he didn't get picked in the beginning. And yeah. he kind of had to deal with that. Like, oh, I was a second choice. Um all that is playing in his mental. So I just think, I, I honestly think, I don't think him and Serena are going to leave the villa together as a couple. And I just think they can probably be better friends, which is fine. But somebody is going to come in there. And they're going to come in there for him. Yeah. And they're going to want to be there for him. So she either needs to figure out what she wants and if it's not him, be up front and, you know, go looking for someone else or she's going to get lost in the sauce. I think I think when we get to this, um, we'll talk a little bit about it at the end, but I think when we get to this first recoupling that's happening mm -hmm. tomorrow, mm -hmm. well, tonight at the time tonight. that we're recording and doing mm -hmm. this, I think when we get the first recoupling, I think that's really going to show where a lot of people are at. Mm -hmm. Um, but before we get there, we have a I got a text. I got a text. I got a text. And we are immediately getting our first bombshell of the season. It's Liv from Australia. Gorgeous. Lit Gorgina. It's gorgeous. Gorgeous. Liv comes in and just flips this villa upside down day two. Yeah. I mean, Liv came in with the instructions of you go and you go take one of these boys. Yeah. And that's what it is. So she's like, okay, I'm going to go talk to everybody and I'm going to mm -hmm. pick which boy I like because that's what I was told to do. And yeah. she did what she was supposed to do. She came I like Liv. I have to I say, I like Liv. Liv. I think she is, has a really good head on her shoulders. I think yeah. she knows what she wants. She's very mature. She's the right first bombshell for the season. Absolutely. Absolutely. It's, she has set the tone for the season, I think. Yeah. She's fearless. Because even the, two, even the two guys that we get as bombshells shortly, we'll talk about them too, um... Even they like came in with a very very similar energy. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So I'm like, all right, all right, this is this is the energy of the season. Okay, cool. 
I'm, mm -hmm. I'm here with it. I'm here for it. But yeah. yeah, I think she did so good as the first bombshell. I liked her. I thought she was like, she wasn't rude. She wasn't being, a, you know, being heifer. She wasn't trying to just. No. She wasn't mean to the girls. She was just like, respectfully, I'm supposed to come in here and just talk to these guys and pick one. So I'm going to do yeah. what I got to do. And she came in here and she, she did that. And I was like, yeah. and she did it in such a respectful manner. I wasn't mad at her at all. I don't think she did anything out of spite. Nothing yeah. was malicious. Nothing was vindictive. She didn't talk to the girls and was like, I don't like her. So I'm going to pick her man. Like, none of that. Right. None of that. Despite what Leah might think. Leah might um, think. Yeah. So she ends up pulling Rob, Aaron, and Kendall. Mm -hmm. and Kendall was all for it. Kendall wanted to talk. Kendall. I, I ain't never seen a man jump up so fast when somebody said you want to check. Yep. Right. I was like, and I honestly thought after I'm I'm curious what you thought, Lana. But mm -hmm. after we get all three of these chats, and then mm -hmm. she pulls all of them again mm -hmm. that night, I honestly thought Liv was going to take Kendall. I thought she was taking Aaron. Really? Mm -hmm. I felt mm -hmm. like I felt like they had a they had a couple of good chats, but I honestly just felt more of like a friendship vibe from them because they. They understand each other in the way of both being the only non-Americans currently yeah. on the cast. And, that, and so I feel like, and we saw a little bit of this in episode two as well. I feel like Liv and Aaron are going to come out of this as best friends. Probably. And that's really all I see it as. Because I think their conversations were good. But I also, like, I don't, I don't know. I never, I didn't really particularly get the vibe like they were obviously attracted to each other, but I honestly got just got more of a friend vibe from them. Whereas with Kendall, like you said, Kendall was immediately into it. They are each other's type. Like that was that was kind of it. That's what I was expecting, at least going into it. And then yeah, that's not what happened. I thought she was gonna pick Aaron because of the familiarity that they have. Okay, them. yeah. The common goals. And I felt like she was like. I think this, this guy's attractive. We we vibe, blah blah blah. Mm -hmm. But I honestly, I'm gonna be honest. They both looking for green cards. They both want to get to the U.S. because she said the same mm -hmm. thing. So it wouldn't make sense hey, for them to get married. Nothing wrong with that. And I wrote it. Nothing they wrong with that. Green cards. They want to get over here. So I get it. I understand why she didn't do that. But I thought it was going to be Aaron, then Kendall, and then Rob was at the bottom of that list because I felt that their conversation was and so dry and shallow. It's very shallow, very surface level. Dry, dry as chicken. Dry toast. Oh my God, it was dry. Like, was wheat bread. Not so, even wheat bread. Like, I don't know. Rye bread. Like, very. Right. Dry. I'm like, very. Dry. I, I thought it, I thought it would have been Kendall, Aaron, Rob. Is, I, is thought, the, yeah, I thought it was either where Aaron, I, Kendall, Rob. But oh, either way it goes, plot Rob. Twist. Will be on plot, plot twist. Plot twist. All wrong. Ariana walks in. We are by the fire pit. Liv goes to pick her man and she picks Rob. I was like, what the what? Everyone was gooped. Even Rob. Rob was like, Rob, Rob. was the most gooped. Because Rob, Rob told, literally said he earlier me, that day, he told me you have nothing to worry about. Yeah, nothing to worry about. She's not picking me. She's not picking me. I I wish, so Liv was like, okay, cool. I wish Rob hadn't said that. I mean, but I he think, thought that, and I get that. I would have thought, thought that, that too. for sure. He thought that for sure. But that I feel like is a lot of the reason why Leah now is having like all of the like the whole Leah saga we get in episode two. I feel like a lot of that might have been spurred by the fact that Rob was like, "Oh no, I uh, you have nothing to worry about. Don't worry." And so Liv takes Rob. Leah is now single, and I was like. What does this mean? Right. Are what does done? it mean? It doesn't nope. matter because we've got new bombshells. <laughs> I love Ariana so much. When she walks out to after she leaves and she gives both bombshells high five. It was, was it like, was the it was the walking between them, the double high five. Good yeah, luck, boys. Point. I was good like, luck, boys. I was like, Ariana. Yeah! Yes! Hey, you're amazing, Ariana. I love I, you. 
I I'm her. already obsessed with Ariana's so episode. I love her. But, like they can keep her, her and 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 yeah. Gemma, uh, um, Maya Jamma, my two favorite Love Island hosts. Jamma is currently hosting Love Island yes, UK. So absolutely, I'm like, Maya Jamma you. and Ariana Maddox. Period. These are the only hosts I need. Oh, only period. one thing. But Connor, we get at, comes in. at the top of episode two. Connor comes in, and we don't learn a whole lot about Connor immediately. Not immediately. <laughs> We don't find out immediate, but we do find out about him eventually. Yeah. He is he works in PR. He lives in LA. Yeah. Uh, he loves. He's a big a- athlete guy, sports Dr- guy. Drink every time he talked about being athletic. Like that was every single chat he had with a girl was. I'm athletic. I. And like a really big athlete. I'm gonna be honest. I'm getting surface level from him right now. I need to see more of Connor. Yeah, Connor is a good looking man, very beautiful yeah. body. Yeah. That's about all I know from Connor. He, that's but, about all we've gotten so far. That's all we've gotten so far. Um, and we'll talk more about him in episode two, but yeah, that's literally we're it. in episode two. We're there. Oh, we're there. He, he, well, we'll talk about him when we talk about him talking to people and, co- and talking yeah. to more of the girls. But the other bombshell comes in and it's Hakeem. I love Hakeem. I love Hakeem. I, Hakeem's energy walking in immediately, I was like, this is the energy I needed. Hmm. And the way, the way that Hakeem comes in talking to all the ladies, meanwhile, the OG guys are still just crowded around Rob yeah. being like, what the hell just happened? Hakeem, I love that Hakeem took that as like, oh, y'all aren't going to talk to us. And so then Cordell tries to, to like break out of that. Cause I, I don't think any of the OG guys were being like malicious in that. They were all kind of just like, oh, uh, everything kind of just happened. Mm-hmm. Like we got to process what's happening. Hakeem takes that as, oh, they don't want to talk. Okay, cool. I'm going to swerve all five of them and go talk to all the ladies. I was like, I'm kind of here for that. I mean, that's what you're there for in the first place. So I'm not mad yeah. at that he did it. I feel like I, I did love his energy when he came in. I was like, oh, he has such a good energy and vibrant and very much like, yeah, let's do this. I'm here. Woo! Yeah. And I was like, yes, love that. Great. Then we start talking and I was like, oh, bro. Oh, oh bro. I feel like he, again, I'm not convinced that that's who he is. I feel like he's trying too hard to put on a show and put on an act. And he's like, oh, and my preference is dark hair, you know, tan skin, da 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 And I'm just like. He gives me major F-boy vibe. Yeah. That is what I get from Hakeem. I get like that that's too. all I get from Hakeem. Honestly. I was like, okay, and, and he's just like he, he's one of those. He got to be the life of the party. He got to be the center mm-hmm. of attention kind of guy. Which at some point, sometimes is good. Sometimes I'm like, okay, um, but I do like his energy. I think I'm not convinced that this is who he is, but we'll see. I just need. To I'm gonna. More. I'm gonna go ahead and say this now. I would not be surprised if he gets dumped tonight. I won't be surprised either. I would not be surprised. I think of the two new bombshell guys, I think, I honestly think Hakeem is more likely to get dumped. Yeah. Uh, there, there, are, there are two people right now. I'll talk about it at the end that I think are at mo- the most risk of getting dumped, and Hakeem is absolutely one of them because he is kind of just going to almost everybody like he mm-hmm. he pulls leah at one point he pulls hannah at one point i think mm-hmm. he pulled yeah he he was talking to kayler at one point mm-hmm. it's very interesting I, and i want to i want to i want to talk about this a little bit too i think it's very interesting so far that all three of the bombshells have gravitated towards everyone who's not black mm-hmm. 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 i was confused by that i was not and I don't know whether that was intentional. I'm it not was. I'm not necessarily okay. And here's why. Because they don't bring in people who honestly want or is truly honestly physically attracted to black women. They bring in one or two people who are 
may be attracted to black women, but also attracted very much to other women. Yeah. And so uh, Serena and uh, J uh, Janae, Janae are literally going to have to stick with Cordell and Coy at this moment in time. Somebody else might come in when they bring in more guys. Hakeem is not yeah. one of those guys. He likes no. the Leahs. He likes the Hannahs. Liv and, wasn't even that kind of girl either. No, like I was, I was like all the, three of them. She, like yeah, she, she pulled likes everybody the, else other than Cordell Coy or Coy. And Cordell. Absolutely. It's that way. And it's it's not and it's not surprising to me. Because that happens on most of these shows, especially like this. Yeah. Somebody's going to come in and want to go for uh, Janae and Serena and Cordell and Coy, but it's going to be another black woman or a black man. Yeah, probably. But Coy and Cordell will have more options for black for white women to go for them than white men to go for Janae and Serena. Because even, even when we saw Serena talking to uh, Connor. Connor, yeah. He looked like he was enjoying the conversation, but he was not entertaining ever having I'm, real conversations with her. I am. I, well, here's what I will say, because we didn't get a whole lot. We honestly mostly get uh, Hakeem. Of, mm -hmm. of the two guy bombshells, we mostly get Hakeem. I'm very interested to see because Connor, Connor makes it clear immediately, like, he's Kayla. into Kaylor. Mm -hmm. He's open to everyone else. And he does have that conversation with, uh, with Serena. Mm -hmm. And I, Serena says in her confessional that she's unexpectedly surprised by the conversation with Connor. Mm -hmm. I'm curious in tonight's episode whether we are going to get a little bit more of that. I don't think in this recoupling, I don't think Serena picks Connor. No. But I, I feel he, like, I feel like really, if, unless it's like, unless someone swoops in and picks Cordell, which I also don't see happening. I think if Serena and Connor are both in the villa for longer, it wouldn't surprise me mm -hmm. to eventually see them couple up. I can see that. But see, this is what will have to happen. This, uh, this is what I personally kind of think might end up happening. I think... Yeah. It, it depends on the order of who gets to pick who first. Because yes. if Leah picks before uh, Liz, she's picking Rob. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. She's picking Rob. And so Liv will now end up picking Connor. You think? I think. Because I... I, I think I cause, because I don't think Kayla's going to give up Aaron right now. Not even for Connor. Well, that's the other scenario that I think is is worth talking about is, yeah. is if Liv picks before Kayla. Oh, yeah. Does she pick Liv Aaron? is going to, if if this scenario happens, Leah picks Rob. Mm -hmm. I think Liv then picks Aaron to be mm -hmm. safe. Mm -hmm. And I think then Kayla picks, picks Connor, mm -hmm. and that's a scenario where I see Hakeem getting dumped. Yeah, absolutely. Or, I'll just go ahead and say now, I think the two guys that are at the most risk of getting dumped first are Hakeem and Kendall. Mm. I think Kendall I think Kendall is in a lot of danger right now. Yeah, because I think Hannah could pick Hakeem if she really I think Hannah, I think there is a strong likelihood that we're going to see tonight that Hannah could pick Hakeem. I think Absolutely. that is going to be the focal point of tonight's episode. Yeah, I think is, ha Hakeem is, is going to put in the work. Hakeem is going to put in the work. I need Kendall to put in just as much work. Because honestly, if I had to pick between Kendall and Hakeem right now, I would want to see more of Kendall. Because I think Kendall brings more to the show and obviously has been on for a little bit longer. Do you think, do you think that if Leah picks first, she picks... Rob. I think Leah, I think if Leah picks first, Leah picks Rob. But do you think, I think Liv I, will pick Kendall? I think Liv could pick Kendall. I think if Liv is last. I think if Liv, is, if, I feel like if. What if Liv okay, picks if, before Hannah? 
if Liv picks before Hannah, okay, here's how I here's how I envision it based on everything, and I'll I'll go in and talk about the rest of what happens because it's it's all kind of Leah spiraling. So I think Janae Coy locked in. Yeah. I think currently Serena and Cordell locked in. I don't, I honestly don't see, I don't see Serena picking anyone else other than Cordell currently. Maybe Connor, but I don't see it right now given what we have two episodes in. Right. I think if Leah picks, if Leah has free reign, Leah picks Rob. Yes. Because Leah had been spiraling throughout this episode. Spiraling. But eventually, oh. everything, everything was spiraling. But I do love their little rendezvous with the at the at the uh, dock. I thought that was the cutest thing. Rob is putting in the work with Leah, and I appreciate seeing it. Yeah, I really think Rob just needs to tell I uh, live like, look, I just am more into right now. You. I'm more right into now. I'm Leah more into than Leah I am you. than I am yeah. into you, and just so go out and talk to these people and get some I think, and make a better connection. Yes. Yeah. Because I think if Leah, if Leah has free reign, Leah picks Rob. Mm-hmm. I see, I, I could see a scenario. I think Liv is a little, if it was a, if it was a women's elimination, I see Liv going because yeah. I just don't think she's, I think she's kind of put all of her eggs in the Rob basket. Mm-hmm. And we saw throughout this whole episode their connection, I don't, I don't see their connection there right now. All There's of their no conversations connection. were awkward. And like she talks about like, I think it was like peeling back the layers like an onion or something. Like, and yeah. I was just like, I don't see, or like an ice sculpture. That's I, what it was. She's yeah, like she taking away the ice ice. I don't see the conversations that she was having that was I I felt like it was just dull and they didn't agree yeah. on anything, and all yeah. then it was these silent, long pauses, and she's yeah. playing with her thing like uh-huh. it's just like, yeah, y- y'all aren't clicking. But she's like, I think every time we talk, we have a better we chip away. I'm like, where? Every time I'm y'all talk to me, to it just see, seems awkward. I'm curious to see where they put Liv in the order of picking order, mm-hmm. and I honestly. I, I think for the other lady's sake, I hope she goes towards the end. Yeah. But at this point, I feel like I feel like if Liv has free reign, I think Liv picks Rob. Yes. I think the two that are kind of a little bit up for grabs right now are Hannah and Kaylor. Because Hannah has Kendall and I they talk about having a they had a very open conversation immediately. Um, this like second full morning that they're there on day, mm-hmm. the, it's day three at this point. They have a very open conversation. They're willing to be open to exploring other options, but they're also very, very comfortable with where they're at. I really like their communication and I hope that that's something that can develop because I honestly really do like Hannah and Kendall as a couple. I think they could work because I think their energies are very, very similar and I think they match in a very lovely way. But we see Hannah pulling Hakeem. And I think they're, I, I don't know at this point who Hannah would pick between Kendall and Hakeem. Yeah. I feel like we we talked about if Liv had free reign, she would pick Rob first. And I think Leah then picks Hakeem. You think Leah picks Hakeem? Yep. I think Leah then picks Hakeem mm-hmm. because he has shown more interest in her than anybody her and Hannah over anybody else. Hannah sticks with court uh with Kendall and everybody else stays where they are. And then I think that's when Connor goes. Because I don't know if Kayla is yeah. and what we'll, this is what we wanted to talk about with Kayla and I said earlier why I don't feel like her mindset she knows exactly what she wants because throughout this conversation she was having with Connor like she would yeah. make mention to the girls like he's so mature he's like husband material he'll be a great father he's very you know serious and and yeah. and, and you know and, and and I love, I love this check-in that we got with Kaylor and Liv at the end of the episode where Kaylor is like, Connor just doesn't give me the giggly flirty vibe that Aaron does. Right. And I think, I think at this point, I think if Kaylor had free reign, I do honestly think Kaylor picks 
Aaron. Aaron. I do because I don't. I think Connor is like he's so good looking. He's so mature. Yeah. He he's what I need, but is he what I want? And I think right. that's what's going on with Kayla because she's like, yeah. I I need this kind of man in my life to to make me more to to mature me more to help me grow and become this woman that I want to be. But I also want to be giddy and girly and laugh and have a good time. And I do that with Aaron. He's fun. He makes me laugh, yeah. but he's still not serious too. And so yeah. they can grow together in their non-seriousness, yeah. but it's not, she's not sure if he's marriage material. And that's where. And, and, and what I'm a little bit worried about in that regard too is, oh, we see like, Aaron is not the most thrilled that Kayla right. is getting pulled for chats by Connor. Right. And we hear several times in this episode, Aaron say, Kayla, if, if that's what she wants, she can kind of do whatever she wants. I'm going to explore my options. Mm -hmm. That's where I feel like Aaron might shut down a little bit mm -hmm. and go into panic mode yep. and maybe latch onto someone like Liv because mm -hmm. Liv is really the only other connection he's got at the moment. Right. So I'm, I think there's a, I think there's a, there's a couple different scenarios that could play out mm -hmm. um, in this episode. I do want to point out my two favorite moments of this episode. Okay. And it's when my favorite comment of, uh, circling back to that, my favorite comment of these two episodes <laughs> is when it's um, as soon as Connor and Hakeem come in, and uh, Connor, I think it was the first time Connor pulled Kayla for a chat. And Aaron goes, Connor is flaring his lats like he's a fucking Dorito. <laughs> I need uh, Aaron to make it past this first dumping because Aaron is so entertaining to me. I, I, ugh. I have never seen men turn into petty girls so fast in my isn't it so refreshing life. on love island it's isn't it so, so refreshing like on love island into the petty bunch so uh -huh. fast when connor look how he walks he's walking like walk, walking like he got them slide i was like and now not just one two of them all of them, like, all of them. look at them. Look at them. I, like, I feel like I feel like if Connor actually does end up getting dumped, I think Hakeem flows into the group of OG guys very, very comfortably. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I don't know that the same will be true if no, because I don't see that energy. But mm -hmm. um, and then my other favorite part of this episode is when Connor and Kayla are up at Soul Ties. <laughs> And we've got the, I love this trio, by the way. I need all three of these ladies to make it far in this. Uh, Janae, Serena, and Hannah. And they're all like on the fake swing. And I all I wrote down Drake every time Janae, Serena, or Hannah says, they're in soul ties. <laughs> and I, thought then they Leah. I thought it was Leah. I thought it was Leah. I don't know. I thought it was Leah. No, it was Hannah. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah, it was Janae, Serena, and Hannah were there because okay. Hannah's Hannah's tits were just falling out. I like. Yeah. I, I I would not be surprised if Hannah's tits had already fallen out several times. Uh, no, everybody's and Hannah they just they're just not fun. showing it. Of course they don't. Think so. Um, she wears literally no clothing. No. Clothing. And hey, I am mad at it. You do you, girl. But they're like, oh my god, they're at soul ties. Oh my god, they're at soul ties. And then they sneak Should up we just go the up there? We should just go up there. there. Let's just go. We should just go up there. Yeah, they sneak up, there. up the thing, and they sneak up on Connor and Kayla kissing. Like I'm interested to see whether any of those ladies will bring that information to Aaron. I'm wondering because they were like, "Does Aaron know? Does Aaron know? Does Aaron, Does Aaron, know? Aaron, like, Aaron, know? Aaron like, obviously know? has to have an understanding that like Connor is very into Kayla, and that's kind of where his energy is right now." Mm -hmm. Um, I really think more than any other time, really, I think the order of picking in this first is very important is, is mm -hmm. so paramount it's to where we are important. at right now. Mm -hmm. Um, and we, we end off this episode with the, the, with the Robin Leah rendezvous and the knowledge that one boy is getting dumped. Yeah. I see. 
It's very much who picks who is who going to, in what order, rather. What yeah. order we're picking yeah. is what's going to make it this. I spill between Hakeem and Connor. One of them going home. It's just. You think so? Which, yeah, I think one of them are going okay. home. I think it just depends on who the order that is going to be picked. Because I was, I was going to ask, who do you think, if you had to predict right now, who do you think is going home? My prediction would be Hakeem. Okay. Because, but like, it can change with the order. It all depends on the order because I feel like, um, I feel like um, if Liv picks Rob first, Leah picks Hakeem because she has nobody else to Cause, pick. Because I was going to say, if Liv ends up somehow getting last pick, mm -hmm. and it comes down to like a scenario between like Connor and Hakeem, who does she? Hakeem pick? goes home. Hakeem goes home. Yeah, she picks Connor. I think so. Because we um, didn't really get any sort of. Because I don't think I don't think Connor even pulled Liv. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Not that we saw. Not that we saw. Yeah, I feel like if um, if Liz goes last, she picks Connor. If yeah, if um, if it's, if um, Taylor goes last, and we have Leah either with Rob or Hakeem, live yeah. with either with Rob, Rob or or Hakeem. <laughs> no, Connor. Connor. Yeah. It, I feel like if it just it just, it really comes there, because like if 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 or Aaron, she, if like you say if if Leah right. picks Rob, she picks Aaron to be safe. Then Leah picks. He, not Leah, Taylor. Will pick Connor. Yeah, Taylor picks Connor I, in this scenario. I, I can if Aaron, well, if Aaron is off the table somehow, yes, yes, Taylor picks Connor. Yes. Yeah, I, I just, uh, the only thing I feel confident in is I feel like the first pick is going to be Janae. <laughs> yeah, I think Janae picks first, and she picks Koi. And because the only thing we see from Janae and Koi in this episode is just like a a a, a check in. I think everyone it, already it's... feels like we're the married couple. Um, I mean, it's not a good or a bad thing. It's just a thing. Yeah, I was like, I don't. I, I like that couple. I like them, but I need them to do something else. I need them to be more. I need a little something else from them. I need. I need a little bit more airtime for for mm -hmm. Janae, Koi, Serena, and Cordell because I understand I all the drama them. surrounding everybody else right now. Mm -hmm. Right. I need more of them because I'm need... curious whether once they get rid of a boy, I'm curious if they're going to bring in more bombshells immediately. Yes, I, brought, I think they're going to probably bring in two more girls. Jesus Christ! I think they can bring How in two many... more girls. This is a six week season. How many? Like, how many people are going to be on this season? A lot. Because when Casa happens, oh, my God. God. <laughs> I need them to wait at least three weeks for Casa. Like, I don't yeah. want to... I don't need, like, a two-week in Casa. Like, honest well, to God, I would kind of maybe prefer if they just brought in... Like, if they just kept bringing in bombshells... No and we had like a we had like a seven or eight couple situation. Like I think that would be really good because I think that would give a bit more dynamic. Well, I I was looking at the room situation. They got the room set up for thirteen people. Yeah, because and then they got all of that and then the sofa bed for somebody else. Because I on. well I, yeah because I was gonna say I think there's a I think there is room in that bedroom for another bed at the end. Yep. And then you've got like the sofa bed that can kind of go on the side on mm -hmm. the wall where the where the closets yep. are. Yep. And yep. they haven't. They also haven't. You know, been against having people. You know, on couches, especially when yep. they're bombshells. Like especially when they're bombshell guys. Like they're just like, mm -hmm. eh, go sleep on the whatever. Like, All right. I don't know. But yeah. I yeah, I think right now, if I had to predict who I think is going home, I think it could be Hakeem. Mm hmm. But, I wouldn't be surprised by that. Whew, hour and a half. Had two two episodes to talk about. We sure did. We sure did. But that is that for our first chat this season, Lana. 
about Love Island. Um, I'm going to keep pulling you for chats, Lana. Yeah, I'll um, pull you for a chat to tomorrow. talk about this season. Yeah, well, I'll pull you for a chat tomorrow. We will be here talking about the first dumping. I but am you, interested to see what's going to happen. You have to make me breakfast, though, while I put my makeup on. Okay, that's fine. Not avocado I toast. That. I hate that. <laughs> oh, no, I wasn't. Uh, no, I'll make, I'll make avocado toast for myself. All right, okay. That's my <laughs> breakfast. Um, but with that being said, y'all, let us know down in the comments below. Who do you think is getting dumped? tonight who do you think is going to get dumped i i don't know okay i think i think uh, i think i think almost anything could happen i think yeah. i think there is a potential for five different guys to get dumped mm. and it wouldn't surprise Oof. me Oof. well but we will we will find out thank you for joining us for this recap for love island usa we'll be back tomorrow with uh, with the first dumping, make sure to subscribe, like, and share on the way out. Click that notification bell because uh, we're going to try to be as consistent with timing and daily-ish uploads as we can. Um, it will come out daily, but I don't know if the time is going to be the same every day. So Right. We wanna... We're, we're going to do our best to uh, be consistent with this. So subscribe, like, and share on the way out. Check the description below for all of our YouTube channel links, our audio podcast links, and our membership channel links, as well as where you can find us on our social media, where you can find me and Lana as well on our socials, and where you could get your merch, including but not limited to cup mug. Uh, with that being said, uh, we're going to get out of here. Cheers. Cheers. I don't know what that is. <laughs> I don't know. I tried to do it. I might need I might need a soundbite of this outro. Maybe. <laughs> that might be the best one.